Hi there, I'm Greg Sanders, group publisher at Food News Media and QSR Magazine, and I'd like to welcome you to today's webinar, Use Data-Driven Insights to Control Costs and Improve Employee Performance. So cost containment is a big issue for quick service restaurants. Problems occur both at the register and in the back of the house, and when one metric such as costs goes awry, so do the revenue metrics. And the combination of rising costs and declining sales can ultimately send a restaurant into a downward spiral. And unfortunately, of course, managers and multi-unit supervisors can only be in one place at a time. And one way to combat these issues and improve overall operations is to use many of the existing store assets with better technology. And in this webinar, uh, we'll be discussing some ways to do so. So one quick housekeeping note before we get started. We will be taking your questions at the end of the program, and you can use the functionality on the webinar console to submit a question. You can ask a question at any point during the webinar. So even though we will be answering them at the end of the program, we do encourage you to submit the questions as they occur to you. And now to begin, the first of our presenters today is Mike Coffey, who was named Chief Executive Officer of DTIQ in January 2018. Mike manages day-to-day -day operations at the company and helps develop strategic initiatives to grow the business. He also has extensive experience as a technology executive, having successfully led multiple companies in the IoT, M2M, and SaaS spaces. Mike, I will now turn it over to you to get started. Greg, thanks so much. Really appreciate the introduction. We're, we're really excited to be here today with our team. We've got Three great areas we want to talk about, about how to help run a better restaurant. And first, though, I want to introduce, uh, introduce our team here today. So the, the, the passion for us, what really gets us excited, we love seeing our customers thrive. We, just, we know how hard this space is with consumer demands and new technology. And, and we, we, I tell you, we can really feel the kinds of labor challenges that you all as customers face. And, and our, our passion is to really help you succeed. I mean, for... For example, we, we had an owner just last month of a franchise QSR who came to us with a problem. Their, I mean, their whole second shift, they were open. They had seen a huge reduction in business. They used to get something in the order of, uh, I, I don't know, maybe 100, 100 plus customers an hour during the dinner rush, and, and they had dropped to under 75. And, and really, within a matter of days, we'd figured out a whole series of issues that had just changed from staffing to policy to management. And this, this, was, this was also a mall location, so it was just so easy for the customers to go somewhere else. And, and I've got to say, these are the kinds of things that our, our team, we, just, we, we love these kinds of challenges. We love helping our customers with these things. And, and our belief is that throughout the year, as an operator, a lot of things happen in your business. And we believe that by using technology and services and you know, as an operator, you can really tilt the odds in your favor. So let, let me introduce our team. Let me, let me take us forward. We've got uh, three, three people on the call today. What you find about us is, is we're made up of more ex-operators and more people with industry experience and brick and mortar than anybody else. I've got three great colleagues with me today. They're going to share some of their learnings. So the first is Brian Wheeler. Brian is our VP of Customer Success. He leads a team that really digs in with our customers and helps them running their operations and running better operations. He comes to us from 360IQ, and, and previously, Brian spent over 10 years as a senior director at Subway. He was in Subway's independent purchasing cooperative, and he's worked on technology to business services to operations, and, and this is a guy who supported over 10,000 restaurants, so I think a great base experience for us. You're also going to hear today from Bill Angelulo. Bill is currently our Executive Director of Client Services. Bill's responsible for our national team of program directors. They really drive what we call program execution of, of operational improvement programs within a customer's environment. Bill has some great experience for us. He's been around for 20 years in brick and mortar. He, he has both uh, operational loss prevention, internal auditor, as well as district regional loss prevention manager roles in his, in his history. I mean, Bill's a certified uh, CFI investigator. When I say relevant experience, Bill, I mean, literally, you've, you've stepped foot in how many, how many locations over the years? Uh, thousands and thousands. Awesome. Yeah. So, so great experience from Bill. He, he's literally been in the in the back of house and in the operations of thousands and thousands of, of brick and mortar customers. And then, and then lastly, the individual we're going to have is Lisa Gallagos with us. Lisa is currently a senior customer success manager with us. She really listens and understands the kinds of challenges that our customers are going through and helps, helps map our solution to that. She's got a great background as well. Most recently, she was the command center manager at Steak and Shake. That, that's a several hundred location 
chain where she supported uh, everything from operations to HR to to front of house issues, loss prevention, you name it. And she's previously had roles at, at Olive Garden where she was a district manager and she also spent many, many years as a uh, district manager uh, at Jack in the Box as well in a prior life. So welcome to Brian, welcome to Bill, welcome to Lisa. When, what we really want to focus on today is, is areas that you can control as an operator. Because let's face it, there, there's tons of things going on, and it's hard to change how many cars drive by every day, but you can absolutely change what goes on inside your location. We want to talk about, talk about three of those. So a, a comment, and, and what really drives us are the details. Because we focus on the details because it's what matters. Well, the way we think about it is, how do we help you build a system where every day you can reliably serve happy customers with happy employees and you've got good operational controls because that's ultimately what drives the best possible results. It increases your gross profit and it flows all the way through to the bottom line. And, and, and I tell you, we, we see so many restaurants that struggle with low single-digit profit margins and, and we know some immediate places to really make an impact. The, the example here is, I mean, the example here is poignant. Even in a restaurant with a low single-digit margin, if we can improve the cost base by 2% or if we can improve the sales by 4%, it basically drives take-home profitability by a third. And, and the multiplier effect, if you own 10 or 20 or 50 locations, the, the multiplier effect is, is incredible. So we, uh, you know, very excited to talk about these. We have three areas we're going to talk about today. The first is losses at the register. Brian's going to take us through this. He's going to comment on this. I'd say from personal experience in this space, I mean, given labor turnover, hiring, training, this, this is usually larger than people think. I, I hear, hey, my brother runs my front of house at, at uh, three of my locations, and my cousins work for me, and my employees have worked for me for five years, and I don't have any problems with the register. And I, I can just say from personal experience, that there are always improvements to be made in a whole host of areas here. Brian's going to take us through that from his experience. The second area we're going to touch on, we're going to touch on back of house improvements. And, and given, the, you know, given the thousands of locations that Bill has stepped foot in over the years, and given the fact that many of those have been where there have been big problems and little problems, that represents a huge potential area. So Bill's, Bill's going to be a, a pretty good speaker for us to take us through, frankly, some of those examples and the kinds of things he sees that can really make a difference. And lastly, Lisa is going to be the one to take us through really perhaps the most important because the, the first two are bottom line focused and the way your employees engage and your customers engage is really about the top line. And we want to talk about just how critical that touch point is. And Lisa is going to take us through that and how that really drives, drives results. So I'm going to kick it off to Brian. Brian's going to take us through and start with losses at the register. Thanks, Mike. So operators know that this is a business challenge. And they know it exists, and you know, at the register, you, you got the common things, excessive discounts, fraudulent voids, even misuse of the employee meal policy. You know, we recently had a franchisee that knew that it was a problem, wasn't sure how quite to address it, so we sat down with them and helped them formulate a meal policy for his business. Then he was able to utilize the DTIQ platform to ensure that his team was, was utilizing that policy properly. And so that really helped drive home, you know, real value real fast and adjusted it to them. The interesting thing was we then took that meal policy and we started sharing it with the other operators in the same brand and it expanded throughout the, the use of it. So they saw, recognized the real value. But operators have, you know, all the standard tools, the operations and procedures manuals, training manuals, the messages boards that are in there for the staff. And you also have the technology tools today. Online training, you know, where, with the, the learnings and procedures, workforce management around labor, business intelligence, trying to get some KPIs, and of course, one of my favorites is the POS integrated, you know, data driven video portion. All the tools are really important to help restaurant operators manage their business more effectively. But at DTIQ, we kind of take a little bit different approach to it. Mike mentioned at the beginning that, you know, we've got a lot of industry experience in this team and it goes well beyond the, the people in this room with you today. The experience goes into a lot of lost professional uh, solution providers as well. 
And part of the DTIQ solution, it provides restaurant operators weekly audits. These audits really take a, a snapshot, a consolidated summary of what's taking place at each location and provides operators and management clear actions that they can take. You know, restaurant operators are dealing with all the daily noise, you know, managing the staff, messages that are coming back and forth from corporate, product ordering to make sure they got the right amount of supply in there to meet demand, all at the same time trying to ensure that customers are being you know, served properly. What the audits do is it really summarizes what operators need to know in a very consolidated form. It provides photos and links to video so they, they can be reviewed as needed. With the audit, now you get a quick review identifying areas or the people that are meeting or even exceeding expectations. See, it's not just about what's wrong. It's about how do you take your best employees and recognize them for what they're doing right and set that standard and have others identify with that. And at the same time, you're going to find areas that need improvement and be able to be real specific to it, have that video verification with it. And you don't need to look through hours of video. It's right there in a consolidated form with the things that you need to do and take action on. So as an example, the audits will show the team following the standard ops procedures for the business. These aren't generic. They're actually customized for the brand and even all the way down to the location. So this allows you to know if your team is executing, okay, as expected, and you got complete confirmation with the photos and the video verification to it. You know, deleted items or voids. You know, this is just one situation of recognizing that if an employee needs additional training, they're not doing a good job with it, or is somebody being dishonest, and then you've got the video verification to back that up so you can take proper action. And with the integrated audio option, you're going to know how the team's interacting with the guest. If, you know, if there's to be offering a promotion or a value meal or an add-on, you want to know that's taking place. And at the same time, you want to be able to coach them up if they're not doing it all the time and know it for sure. So, you know, remember the employee meal example we gave earlier. We actually can utilize the audit to confirm is that policy being followed as well. And speed of service. We know consumers don't want to stand in line. None of us really do. And the customers have expectations, and the audit's going to show is your team meeting the speed of service standards that you've set for your locations. So it's really important to remember how to identify and recognize, you know, the best performing locations with the staff members that do a great job. There's an audit score, so you'll be able to recognize your team when they make that perfect score or see improvements from the previous audits, audits so that they're done on a weekly basis. So all this data from the audit is always available. It's on the DTIQ platform and easy to access, not just the audit itself, but the transactions and being able to see what's taking place within the business. So any user can log in, be able to see where the voids or the item corrects took place, be able to quickly view a corresponding video, and once again, do I have a training issue or do I have a different problem that needs to be addressed and take action? The dashboard itself is real simple. It's customizable by the user, so any operator can quickly, easily see what they need to know. This includes actually from any browser, mobile device, and that really is helpful for the regional managers, the guys out there in the field, so that they can quickly access any of the locations remotely. So one of the most rewarding things that we often hear from our customers is how the audits and the use of the DTIQ platform have kind of created a culture of accountability. We've got customers that take the audits and hang them up for the staff to see. They know that those audits are being done. They just don't know when that's occurring. They know that performance counts every day with every customer then, so it drives the best performance. We've got multi-unit operators that use this tool to help recognize and reward their staff including making it a competition even between locations to see where the best you know, score is. So to drive that you know, whole culture of accountability. So there's a lot of things here that we can do, uh, Mike, you know, to help, help operators control those losses at the register. Yeah, Brian, that's great. I mean, what, what strikes me here is I, I think about how the environment used to be, and in many cases still is so manual, right? Everything from 
who's going to be on schedule and who's coming in used to be posted on a board. And, and I mean, I remember back in the day, you used to have to call in or stop by and check your schedule. And, and, and that's progressed now to automated scheduling systems. And I think even with the way POS technology has changed, even with the camera technology has changed, I mean, the, the whole front of house has an opportunity. You look at speed of service, you look at discounts, you look at places where you can potentially leak margin, if you will, or, 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 or leak poor results. It's all improved through the combination of automation, algorithms, technology, you name it. I think it's, I think it's a pretty exciting place, actually. Awesome. Let's, uh, let's turn it over to Bill, who's going to take us through his experiences and how some improvements in the back of house can really drive the bottom line. Thanks, Mike. So just like everyone on our team, uh, my name is Bill Angelillo here, and I am dedicated to helping our partners run more profitable businesses. My goal today is just to share some statistical data to help you understand the problems that all QSR businesses face and some basic best practices you can implement today. So I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about back of house issues, including employee theft of product and time, unauthorized entries, and excessive waste. So let's jump right into it and discuss some red flags that might tell you you have a theft problem. You know, as Brian talked about, statistics show employees make bad decisions far too often, and the National Restaurant Association estimates that employee theft accounts for around 75% of restaurant losses, so a huge number. So how do you know if you're experiencing theft in one of your business units? Um, you can check your food cost history, a great place to start. Is it going up? If you own multiple units, are they all going up? Or did you change anything to cause an increase? You know, look at your profit margins. Are they going down? Are you serving the same number of meals or drinks, but profitability is dwindling? Are you losing customers? Or have you heard complaints from your customers, which is often a great source of information um, about your employees in a location? So listen to your employees is also important. You know, are they telling you things about the restaurant or has morale changed? And just talking to your employees. Talk to them to see what they say about issues changing your profitability. Most losses can be prevented, and knowing that it can happen is definitely the first step. So who are those stealing in the restaurant environment? Uh, that am answer is simple. Anyone who makes up your staff. Because quick-serve restaurants often have a high amount of turnover, personnel changes can cause a lot of inconsistency in various areas, such as cash counting and handling, maintaining brand standards and training, all of which can be very difficult to manage. So when we talk about management and back-of-office personnel, district regional managers, and even owners and operators, um, they can all be a source of loss and dishonesty. Often when these individuals are involved, the thefts are more elaborate, widespread, and of course more damaging. Larger losses of cash are often the result of theft method, methods used by management, as simple as deposit theft to more involved schemes like cooking the books or accounting frauds. Uh, management can also be involved in smaller thefts, with over, which over time, as I mentioned, can add up to thousands or even millions of dollars. And having the ability to change transactions at the end of the day can be a mechanism for void theft or other register manipulation methods. So being the person responsible for reconciliation often results in undetected thefts, which are not uncovered for long periods of time, resulting in higher dollar losses. You know, Mike, it reminds me of a story um, of a franchise owner we worked with many years ago that couldn't understand why he was operating at such a low gross margin. As a result of an investigation we conducted, it turned out a family member was moving merchandise out the back door and selling the product substantially below cost and pocketing the money to the tune of about $150,000. Um, this occurred over about a year's time, and unfortunately, as a result of the loss, he ended up having to close his doors a short time later. Um, it was obviously very devastating to him as a business owner um, and, and for other reasons, and too often we're definitely of the mindset that this will never happen to me. If you're not currently deploying you know, the DTIQ solution, which monitors and alerts users and provides data on front and back of house operations, these types of issues you know, can go undetected. So another type of loss to touch on is employee time theft. You know, time theft we know occurs when an employee accepts pay from their employer for work that they not, have not actually done or time they have not actually worked. Buddy punching is one of the mo more common ways that will occur um, and has a significant impact on your bottom line. And when we talk about the bottom line, um, one of the most critical areas we want to focus on um, in back of house and even front of house is we know 
uh, excessive food waste can have a tremendous impact on your profitability. The United States currently spends over $218 billion on growing, processing, transporting, and disposing of food. While the amount of food waste is definitely staggering in America, it presents a unique opportunity to reduce business costs, increase co consumer savings, and create major social and environmental benefits. Each year, about 63 million tons of food is wasted annually in the U.S., according to the nonprofit organization ReFed, and the restaurant industry alone generates about 11.4 million tons of food waste annually at a cost of about $25 billion per year. So when we talk about that, tracking food thrown away could cut food costs by up to 6% by increasing awareness of food waste within the company and focusing attention on front and back of house prevention activities. It will also assist in eliminating potential dishonesty by those who take food, whether prepared or even unprepared food and write it off to waste. And a couple common ways waste increases food you know, with, without actually being wasted is giving away free food. When an employee gives free food to a customer or friend, they will often record it as waste. This will account for the missing food and in some cases will not arouse suspicion. Uh, even taking food home, while most restaurants have an employee meal program, employees often feel they just deserve more. Sometimes the employees are just hungry and don't see anything wrong with taking a little extra food. A common way it occurs is to have a cook make more food than necessary, often towards the end of a shift. Rather than throw the extra food away, employees will take it home, but it will be recorded as waste. So when we just talk about some basic strategies to help you cut your food waste, it really starts with education and educating your employees. Ensure employees understand how to prepare and store product. Prevention solutions represent nearly 600,000 tons of annual food waste averted, and that's valued at close to $1.8 billion per year, making the most cost-effective way you can reduce your food waste. And then just identifying, identifying waste and theft. If you aren't keeping track of your inventory, over-ordering can definitely happen. Waste isn't the only consequence of not taking regular inventory. Your product might just be walking out the door and there's really no way for you to uh, track that employee theft. Check if your weekly inventory shows some unexplained shrinkage, especially if one item is consistently coming up short without any sales to back it up. You might be dealing with a, a theft problem. So just talking about a couple other ways, you know, in back of house, we, we know um, unauthorized entry into a unit is also a concern, as it usually indicates a theft of some kind. While a manager, for example, you know, they may just forget their cell phone and need to re-enter a location or retrieve it. Most re-entries into a location result in theft of food, drink, or cash. And if you're not monitoring those re-entries or unauthorized entries, you could be suffering losses because maybe you're just focused on only looking at transactions and behaviors during normal operating hours. So, just touching on a few of these back-of-the-house issues, we know all of these responsibilities can feel overwhelming to an operator, and the good news is we're here to help. We offer a complete end-to-end -end solution. DTIQ gives you data-driven insights you need to make sure policies are being enforced at all of your locations, not only for compliance, but to maintain your brand standards and integrity. Our video audit programs can monitor your locations for policy infractions, employee theft incidents, and even alert you to trends in employee behavior. Additionally, our nationwide field and audit, audit and investigative team offer store, operational, and food cost audits, along with conducting employee theft investigations. So beyond our data-driven approach, we know we can help you run a better business. We're dedicated to exceeding our customers' expectations and being the best vendor and partner our customers have ever worked with. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for the time today. Yeah, Bill, that's great. Thanks very much. It, it, it really, uh, it really strikes me. Actually, I mean, there's, there's so much that that you know, new age and evolving restaurants can do here. I mean, as you talked about inventory, that that's all analyzed through data. As you talked about waste, I mean, a, a lot of waste is a combination of policy and and frankly how you measure waste. And you, you talked about reentries. I mean, it, it used to be when somebody reentried a, a restaurant, when somebody came back in, they'd have to disarm the alarm, and you might get you might in the old days get an alert that, that said, hey, somebody's been in. But nowadays, somebody comes in, disarms the alarm, and the motion clicks off, and, and my app buzzes on my phone, and the DTIQ app comes up, and you look and you say, okay, who's in the location, and why are they in there at night when we're closed at night? And, and you can actually see what they're doing. Same, same, same thing with, 
you know, employees, right? You talk about time card theft and, and, you know, it's very easy now with technology and solutions to measure when one employee clocks two time cards, if you will. And, and frankly, most systems don't even have uh, paper time cards anymore. So it, it's, it's relatively easy to even use technology, GPS, and, and some of the workforce management apps to track where people are when they log in. So I think they're all, you know, all ways that, that we're evolving. Great stuff. I'll turn it over to Lisa. Lisa's going to take us, uh, take us forward on our last section, which is best practices around employee engagement and, and into our customer experience. Thank you, Mike. And hello, everyone. Uh, Lisa Gallegos from BTIQ here, and I am a part of this amazing, knowledgeable, and satisfaction-driven customer success team. Our role is to ensure each client has immediate access to a live person capable of providing insight, clarification, direction, quick tips, and even hands-on resolution to any situation or experience our customers see. Yes, you are never alone in your partnership with DTIQ. And by the way, remember, the IQ represents intelligence, and every member of this team has been diligently selected to adequately represent. Mike, Brian, and Bill have touched on several solution-driven capabilities our product has to offer, so my focus will touch on yet another level of capabilities and possibilities our product and services offer, employee engagement and development. One of the best services we offer is saving operation leadership valuable time while improving and reaching high levels of employee coaching, training, and development on brand standards. Employees actually do care and crave direction, guidance, acknowledgement, and generally want to please their leaders by doing a good job. The problem is accountability or believing they must do the right thing only when leadership visits or when a manager is present. Therefore, the next solution DTIQ offers will be a huge win for operations where the manager can only be at one place at one time, which is often with the guests in the dining room putting out fires or buried in the production station relieving bottlenecks to prevent the fires. This means operational leaders often miss valuable coaching moments with their team in the daily live environment. And we all know the longer an employee goes disarray or not corrected, the longer and harder it is to correct. And even worse, guests are impacted by missing the full extent the company's consistent brand standards intended to offer. ETIQ services include routine audits. That can be customized based on each individual company's brand standards mission, vision, and guest service expectations. For example, audits can be customized to provide the front of the house employee engagement by focusing on cashier and host transactions with the guests, capturing valuable coaching and developing development moments that can be addressed with the employee one-on-one -on -one at a more reasonable and effective time. Imagine the power in a five to 10 minute informative discussion with employee politely coaching to correct standards, and requiring the employee to deliver correct brand standards on their next scheduled shift. And let's review just a few of the items 360 auditors can capture to offer invaluable coaching moments. Smiles. Is the team delivering with a smile? Are the guests smiling? Uniform standards. Are they clean, neat, and food safety friendly? Cell phone usage in viewable areas. Let's eliminate those hiding places. And our auditors are trained not to overreact to one-offs, which prove to be ineffective and demotivating. Auditors are trained to ensure there is a bona fide issue. Assisting guests promptly. No more talking to another associate or finishing stocking a station or a cleaning project while the guests wait. Nope, not when they are asked to explain why or a manager has the opportunity to calibrate that employee on the impact. Brett, guests being greeted upon entry with a friendly smile? Are they being um, told upon departure, have a good day and come back and see us with a polite wave? All those moments are now coachable. Verifying the accuracy of to-go orders before the guests leave. Placing proper condiments with to-go orders. Yeah, no more sending guests home with napkins and ketchup for the entire week. You can now coach those moments when you see them happening. Is the station set up properly and stocked adequately for peak volume? The rewards program, is it being communicated properly and passionately to the guests? Suggestive selling opportunities, are they being hit? Can we develop this through coaching? 
What floor signs? Are they being used at the right times and removed promptly to avoid false sense of security to the guests? These are just a few of the standards auditors can observe and provide snapshots with audio support to our clients. And remember, this list can be based on intel each client individually provides and requests the auditors to observe. I hope that you are picturing the numerous possibilities at this point. Camera footage does not lie. When an employee is set down to discuss brand opportunities or performance breakdowns with snapshot and audio support, they are wide open to own and commit to improving performance and breakdowns. Again, most employees really do want to do a good job for their manager. And now being coached, odds are high for long-term success when this solution-driven material is consistently utilized for coaching employees. This is where time is saved. 360 cameras eliminate the potentially long process of a manager capturing or observing breakdowns in a live environment and confirm once taught or corrected it does not continue to reoccur. Auditors can be set sent based on each client's frequency requests or needs to provide these valuable coaching moments and follow-up. Also, while companies must focus on correcting, correcting brand standards, the guest service breakdowns Consider another capability. Audits can also provide snapshots with audio capturing employees' accuracy, efficiency, flawless brand standard execution, and delivering above and beyond guest service moments. Yes, recognize your employees for doing the right thing when they thought no one was watching and there is no better coaching or developing solution in the world. Acknowledging and celebrating your employees' Execution of superior performance can be a fun competition, and if needed, our customer success team will assist to create a process to track and reward good behavior. This is the real win-win, because positive motivation encourages employees to continue executing at a high standard, even when they think no one is watching. Pretty soon, more employees will be working hard for their moment in the spotlight. Couldn't everyone use more positive acknowledgement in their life? Of course and positive motiv motivation is priceless. Finally, most companies have a customer complaint or compliment tracking system, and often managers are torn between managing based on what the customer says the employee, or the, the employee's version of events. That is the thing of the past with DTIQ watching. We can pull the exact moment in time via history of the transaction in question and allow the manager to review real-time occurrence of the complaint or compliment, whether the guest was never at the location and made the whole thing up, or the employee attempted to make light of a very serious situation. Now the manager is empowered to ensure proper resolution is executed, saving valuable guessing game mistakes. Imagine how many managers believe their employees blindly and fail to react appropriately to guest concerns. I know, I've been there and it can be a costly business mistake when not accurately informed, losing not only the guests, but friends of the guests and friends of the friends. If you decide to empower your business with the solutions the DTIQ has to offer, myself or another customer success manager is assigned to your business and responsible for ensuring you are never without resource, direction, or assistance. From 360's powerful POS, Report writer to creating a customized process to meet the direct needs of any brand, we are here to help you succeed. When routine processes are in place to serve operations, all services suggested will prove to save time and money in the long run, and we can help you develop these processes for your business. Thank you all for your time. I hope to be working with all of you soon. Yeah, Lisa, this is Mike again. Really, really appreciate it. I think, I think what's special to me is, is, is nowadays when you take audio and you combine it with video and you can objectively measure each individual customer experience and, and measure how your employees really engage with those customers, you, you get, frankly, uh, some pretty special and objective results out of that. And, and all the examples you gave are great examples that, that really give some, some color for that. I think that's, I think that's terrific. So what, what I'd say in, in summary, 
wrapping up, the three areas we touched on, these are really important. While, while losses at the register and back of house and, and operational issues, they're decidedly bottom line, as I mentioned earlier, the, the employee engagement and how they engage with the customers, it's really clearly a top line driver. Right? And the combination of these areas can really help an operator. The, the philosophy uh, we've always had is happy employees create happy and repeat customers and if you have good operational controls around it, then that drives great profitability in the end. And, and I'd, I'd really encourage the group that's with us here to consider how to implement these kinds of changes and to really help their teams get engaged on these topics. There's a lot that we can do with technology. There's a lot that we can do with, with the kinds of advanced services and solutions which, which frankly, companies like us, uh, DTIQ, can help with. It's that combination of the two, uh, plus outside knowledge on tools that can really help you chart a course through all this. So lastly, I'd say that the main difference, just a little bit about DTIQ, I'd say the main difference about us is that we do all of this ourselves. So our team, we're, we're full of experts, as I mentioned. You've, you've heard some great people with great experience on this call. We have 400 people in the organization that have some of the best operating experience in the business. And and when our customers call us, when they call our support number, or our 800 number, or, or even our direct number, they get a DTIQ employee who knows their business on the other end of the phone or even in their restaurant. So I'd say thank you very much for everybody's time. Happy to take some Q&A at this point and see what kind of questions we have. All right, uh, Mike and our presentation team, thanks so much for that great information. We are taking uh, questions from the audience now. Um, and once again, you can use the submit functionality on the webinar console on your screen to submit a question. Uh, first up, um, Mike, I'm going to direct it to you, but please feel free to, uh, to redirect it to your team as, as required. Um, how quickly can an operator get up and running with DTIQ? Oh, with us, sure. So our, our, our solution is simple, uh, Greg. It, it works with the existing point of sale system in a location. It works even with existing cameras, for example. So it really just it takes days to get up and running and, and benefits accrue immediately. I mean, usually, usually customers are sensitive to their locations and they say, hey, my slow day is Thursday and, and actually, therefore, I don't want you in for, for a while. And, and but, but really, if we're in on a Thursday, we can get them set up and running that day, and, and they can be seeing benefits by the very next weekend. Good question. So following up on that, um, Mike, what, what are the typical benefits an operator will see? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, like our, our, our solution, I, I think of the benefits as a magnitude of cost, right? And our solution is one price. Back to being simple. It's no hardware. It's no technology to buy. And, and our services team, for example, is already deployed around the country. So we're, we're within an hour's drive of 99% of the restaurants in North America. So, so quite simply, we're a subscription model. Uh, our, our customers pay somewhere, sometimes around $150 a month is, is a good ballpark number. And the, the benefits are many orders of magnitude greater than that. Uh, I mean, we, uh, we, we, we had a customer, we, we went in just a couple of weeks ago, uh, a drive through customer, and and they went in actually towards the end of the week, and the very first weekend they found us running. They actually found that a manager that had worked for them for a number of years had, had been actually pocketing hundreds of dollars a day uh, in the very first day that we were running, and it was it was pretty easy for us to see. And, and when they looked back on that, they actually realized that it was costing them thousands of dollars per month, per month in, that, in that one location. And I think... So I think benefits, you know, back to benefits being bottom line centric, we, we see those kinds of benefits a lot. On the, on, on the top line centric side of benefits, I mean, we, we, we had a customer, a great customer, who, who realized that their loyalty program effect was that the, the, their consumers with the loyalty program were actually visiting them three times a week compared to the non-loyalty program customers who were only visiting them once a week, right? It makes common sense, but this was a, this was a loyalty program they had created that had some pretty special, uh, special requirements around their, their particular region, if you will. And so they, they made a big push across all their locations for loyalty signups because they knew it was a big driver of their business. But the problem was they had a thousand associates that were manning the registers and they wanted to train all those people on the script for how to do the upsell for the loyalty program. And, and that's honestly, it's a hard task. Usually you got to get training materials out to everybody and you got to have the managers train people and then half the people do it and half the people don't. And all I can say is using our audio and our video, we were able to validate in under a week that every single one of the 1,000 
associates that they had were were following the new script, and they ended up getting a 10x increase in loyalty program signups. So, you know, which which drove obviously, you know, huge ability for them to market to their customer base and huge ability for them to create repeat sales. And I think so. The, the benefits are. You know, the benefits are pretty unique. It really depends on individual situations. Uh, I mean, Brian or Bill or, or, or Lisa, what, what other examples do, do you all have that are relevant? I think it's, this is a good one. Yeah, you, you know, Mike, it's, I think the thing that's always shocking to the people is that the immediate impact it makes. Because you, you take and you put it in the video and transactional data, and you don't have to wait to get results because you're ringing transactions and the store is operating things are taking place right away. And you, you're getting actionable insights into the business that didn't ex- exist previously. So we often see it that right away. You get some of the suspicious transactions. They get to identify, is that training, or do I, have a, do I have a problem here like the other operator did? And they also start to get reporting. You know, one of the most common reports is the lead item tracker. It's our customer's favorite one of the newer ones, but it immediately rose to the top of the list. They want to see, the operator wants to take a look at, wake up every day, and see that report and be able to take actions with it. And there's numerous cases where, you know, it's, um, it's, it's disappointing, but it's better to know than not know that sometimes you have that manager, that key employee that's been with you a lot of years and trusted, that maybe isn't always as honest as, as you had hoped. But you're better off knowing than not knowing. Awesome. Bill, anything from your side? I'd like to add, I'm sorry, Lisa here. I was Go for it, Lisa. Add, the snapshots provide immediate resolution. If an employee is stealing at the register and you have support to show them, there's no time wasted on investigation or trying to prove the case or interviewing the entire team. You have an unquestionable material that resolves the issue immediately, which saves valuable time. So when they see it on camera, it's a done deal, and there's no more further investigation to go on. Awesome. Thanks. Maybe we should – any other questions out there? Yeah, we have a few more. Um, next question. Uh, so it's talking about guest survey systems. Can you talk about what guest survey system is being used, uh, is being best used for feedback? Oh, yeah. So this, this is a good one. I can, I can take this. I mean, obviously, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of choices here. This, this one almost warrants its own conversation, right? You've got the traditional receipt-based, hey, pl- please text your feedback to this number, or please go to this website and type in this code and give us feedback. You've got the, um, you've got the text, text-based. Some people hang a little card up on the door, on the counter, that says, hey, uh, text us your feedback. And, and you, we even have a DTIQ has had a proprietary one for, for some time. And I, 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 th- I think by and large, though, the most important one that we, we really believe operators should pay attention to, and we try and pay attention to when we're talking to operators, it, it's the social networks, right? I mean, the reality is that a good review on Yelp or Google or insert whatever the other social network is, I mean, I don't have to tell the operators this, but, but a good review and a bad review, you really live and die by those. So, so what we tend to focus on is we tend to not focus as much on the, you know, the contents of the reviews, right? It, we, that, what's going to happen there is really a byproduct of what's happening in the restaurant, we're, we're pretty focused on how, how operators both respond to and manage and frankly monitor those, uh, those social sites. And there's some, there's actually some great technology tool sets out there, which you can, uh, you can subscribe to. I, I'd encourage whoever has this question, the people who have this question to talk to our team. I mean, these are, these are kinds of things we know a bit about. There's a handful of tools out there where you can essentially put your address and your location in and it'll monitor social media for you. And then if you get a review, it'll, it'll essentially ping you with that, that review. So that, I think the social ones are by far the most important. Um, we, you know, we usually see that that's what people have plugged into their phones and their environments. We actually encourage the use of those more than anything proprietary. Uh, now that, you know, that's that that's unfair. We we like the receipt ones, the register ones. We like we like all of it. But those are the ones that we see uh, most often, Greg. Okay. Um, can you comment or shed some light on what are the legal considerations? for recording customers and employees? 
Yeah, yeah. So that the usually it's the audio side that 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 people have considerations out around legal. I mean, there's there's very few legal considerations around video. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. Video can be misappropriately used, and we're big believers in strong ethics and and where video is, and in letting customers know and letting employees know that video recording is in progress, and that that's very important. Where you can get in trouble is frankly when you don't tell people. But but video is much more commonplace, certainly in North America. Audio is the one that more people have questions and challenges about typically. And, and our general rule of thumb there is it's harder to use audio for um, legal reasons, to, to, make, to make a case against someone and, and to, to record audio in private areas like offices and things. It, it's actually absolutely fine in almost every really every state that, that we do business in, to use audio for business improvement purposes. And then, again, the key is to really let the customers know uh, and the employees know that it's a location where both audio and video monitoring are, are in progress. And this, this is another one I'd encourage people to talk to our team about. We can, we can talk about some of the ramifications and pitfalls of that. I think it's a good question. All right, next up. Um, with so many loss prevention choices in the market, why would an operator choose DTIQ over another company offering uh, similar services? Yeah, oh, sure. I mean, look, Greg, we, we, we live and die by a customer success. It's what I said in the beginning of this. I mean, we have our customer success as our number one goal. And I, I, I think most other solutions out there are reactive. Most other solutions out there they're, they're, frankly, they haven't been doing it the longest. We have. Frankly, they're not the biggest player in the market. We are. They don't have the best service and the most resources and the most innovation, and we do, and, and we've put a lot into this. I mean, we have 45,000 individually supported locations that we support every single month, and, and our customers tell us we do a fantastic job with it. So I, I, um, you know, this, this, this one, we, we would love to have a conversation with someone who's looking at, at, uh, you know, other loss prevention providers, for example, like this is when we could have a long conversation about strengths and weaknesses. Mike, I think the thing to add there, this is Bill, is just, you know, and we, we just don't drop things on your doorstep. So we know immediately we're going to show you ROI, whether it comes to guest service and when it comes to loss prevention, issues that are happening in your locations. So we, we just don't tell you they're happening. We're going to provide you solutions. We have a, a nationwide field team that is able to assist um, our, our business units, so it's a complete end-to-end -end solution. It's not just telling you what's wrong, but we're going to show you how to fix it. Yeah, great great point, Bill. And that, that's probably one of the most common things we hear from operators is, hey, great, you did an audit, you found some things in our location, or you found some things across 10 of our locations, but what do I do with it now? And we're the only ones out there with that field team where we can have somebody actually come by your locations and help you, help you with hiring, help you with, uh, if it's, you know, unfortunately, the firing side of hiring, help you with investigations, help you with, help you with how to run, uh, how to run your business better. And, and by using the technology combined with the services, it makes all the difference in the world. And that's, that's where really having your success in mind, uh, is, is front and center for us because we think, we think that makes us very special. We think that's something nobody else does. All right, with that, we are going to call time on today's program. Uh, I would like to thank our presentation team once again for their um, wonderful insights on today's topic. Uh, and also, I would like to say thank you to DTIQ for making the program possible uh, and certainly to our audience for attending. Uh, there will be a recording of the webinar available within about 24 hours, and you'll receive an email letting you know when that is available for viewing. Thanks again, and have a great day.